Hey, what's up practitioners? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to track UTM variables in ActiveCampaign. So just a very quick background on what UTM variables are. UTM variables, also called UTM parameters, are used to pass information from one website to another and also provide additional information to our analytics software like Google Analytics or tracking an active campaign, et cetera. UTM variables are kind of like the return address on a letter. Uh, if you were to send a letter to a person and didn't put a, a return address on it, the person receiving it wouldn't know where it came from or who sent it unless that information was included somewhere. Um, now, an, a UTM variable is like by having the name and the address of where the that letter came from, the recipient's going to know where that came from. So it's like there's two sides of this equation. There's the pitcher and the catcher, or the sender and the receiver. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set it up in Active Campaign so that we can be the receiver of that information. In another video, I'll show you how to send up, set up the sending or the pitching uh, side of it to actually be putting these UTM variables into our links into our, in our various campaigns. But for now, we're just going to be receiving the UTMs and recording the ones that are coming in currently. So uh, a few of the tools that we're going to be using, we obviously need Active Campaign. Uh, we're going to be using this UTM Builder. Uh, this is one that's created by Google. It's free to use. And the if you just uh, Google UTM Builder or Google um, UTM Builder and then Google, it will come up. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create these custom fields in Active Campaign, and then we need to go update our form to be able to use them on our various landing pages. So let's hop over into Active Campaign. I'll show you how to do this. All right, here we are inside of our Active Campaign account. If I go to Lists and I go to Manage Custom Fields, you may see a handful of custom fields in here already. If you don't, that's okay. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a group. All this does is it's gonna help us keep our data organized as we get more of these variables in here. Just gonna add a group. I would call it something like opt-in UTM variables because this what we're going to be doing is recording the UTM variables of when people opt into our list. So you can change this later. It's not a big deal. I already did this, so I'm just going to cancel out. So now we're that's going to create a group for us. Once we have our group created, now we want to add a field. So I'm going to click add field. And this is where we want to name it the various, we're going to be using five different fields. We want to name it the variable that we're going to be recording. So this is where, um, actually I should back up and I should show you. If you go to this UTM builder, let me just open it so you can see what I'm looking at. This is what the builder is going to look like. And we have some, some, some test data in here, but what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down to this information right here. These are gonna be the five fields that we're gonna be adding, campaign source, campaign medium, campaign name, campaign term, and campaign content. And this little code underneath it is what we're gonna be adding in. So UTM source, medium, campaign term, and content. So the first one is gonna be this UTM source. So you can type it, I'm just gonna copy it. If I go over active campaign, I'm going to name the field the same thing as the variable. So I'm just going to put this in here, UTM source, group. This is just where we change it to UTM variables to keep it nice and clean. And then field type is going to be hidden field. Once we have that, I'm just going to put this hidden source too. So I remember that it's a, I've already done this once. and you're gonna see it show up right here. Now you have to go in and edit this, unfortunately. You'll notice here in the personalization tag between these uh, percent signs, there's no underscore. So we need to go in and update that. So I'm just gonna click this little edit icon on the right, the personalization tag, UTM underscore source, and then click save. And now we can see that 
that's going to show up properly. So you need to do that five times. You need to do it for source, medium, campaign, term, and content. And when you're done, it'll look like this. All of them are going to be hidden fields. And then the personalization tag should reflect the same thing. Once you have those five done, the next thing we need to do is we need to put those into our form so our form can collect that information when somebody opts in. We can find that if we go to site. And forms. And here we need to find the form that we are using. So I have a just a variable test one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Once our form is up, we need to add these fields to the form. Now, what I recommend you do, if you're building a form from scratch, design it how you want it, get it to look how you want, and then come back and add these at the very end. Because the these hidden fields are not going to show up and it changes the look of the form in this editor, but it'll actually show without these in here. So it's a little bit confusing. It's gonna change how it looks um, in the preview, but these aren't actually gonna show. So I'm just gonna delete these out of here so that I can show you, so I can redo it. That's enough. Okay, you are not gonna have any of these in here when you get started. So where you will find them is under fields, my fields, and if you scroll down, you may have to click show more fields in order for more to show. Well, you are gonna be able to see these custom fields that you just created, UTM source, medium, these ones are already installed. And so you need to drag out the five that you just created. I don't think it matters what order they're in. So let's just put it there, source, medium. And once you see those five fields here, we can go ahead and integrate. If you have already installed the form, like you're just updating it, if you were using a simple embed, it should already be updated. You just save and exit and it'll be done. If you use this full embed, you will need to recopy this and paste it onto your website in order for the changes, in order for these updates to take effect. So I did the simple embed. So I'm just gonna click save and I'll just go ahead and uh, if I hadn't done it, I would just use this one and then save and exit. So let's go over to my form and I'll show you what it looks like. So I created this test field, or this, excuse me, this test form in order to make sure that all this stuff is working properly. And so what I'm gonna do um, is input an email to see if it pulls in these UTMs. But likely you don't have any UTMs in your URL yet. So like the, if you can see this at the very top, graysoncar.com, and I have this website or this webpage, UTM variable test for active campaign. In order to see if the UTM variables are being pulled in properly, I need to add some here. And so the way that I'll do that is I'll just do it manually using my campaign uh, URL builder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the URL of the page that this form is on, just copy it. And if I head back over to my builder, I can add some UTMs and paste it back in here in order to test this. So this is my UTM builder. I've already done it, so let's see, I can just paste this back in here. And these are the variables that will be updated dynamically once we actually start implementing the, the sending side, but right now we're just trying to receive. So we just wanna make sure that the, the data is being pulled in properly. So I just put test source, test medium, test name, test term, and test content. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna automatically create this long URL for us. And so what we want to do is we want to copy that, this long one. You can see it's our website, and then it says source, test source, medium, test medium, et cetera. So if I take that, 
And I can either just go back here, I can open a new tab. And I paste this whole thing in. Now you can see it's this URL with all this information. I'm just gonna click enter to make sure it accepts it all. I could have done this in a new tab and it would have worked exactly the same way. And now what I wanna do is see, I have all these UTM variables up here now, but the only thing that I have to enter in manually is my email. So this would be like the page that somebody's coming to opt in on. So I'm gonna say Grayson plus this little hack in order to create a new record in Active Campaign. And then I'll just put like a date, 12-9-2020. Um, and I've already done this once today, so I'm gonna put another two at leadcadence.com and click Submit. All right, so the form's been submitted. Let's go back and make sure that it accepted those UTM variables properly. So what I'm doing is I'm finding the contact record that was just added. So if I go to contacts, I sort by date created. I can see this is the most recent one, this email. If I click on this, I'm inside this campaign re or this um, contact record. And now if I scroll all the way down, I have this new group and it has pulled in all the information. So UTM source, test source, test medium. Let's see, it looks like I, I might have messed this up when I was pulling these in because UTM name, let's see, test name, test term, test content. So content's right, term's right, campaign name should be campaign, it should be test campaign. Let's see, did I put that in properly? So I just, I put in this, um, so it's, it's working properly. I just put something wrong in here. So my variable, I, what I wanted to say is uh, test campaign. And then it would have pulled in, then it, the data would have been accurate. I can also see the UTM variables over here. But now when I look at, anybody's contact record that is opted into my list through one of those forms, I'm gonna be able to see where they came from. Now in another video, I'm gonna show you how to set up what these variables should be. So if somebody's clicking on a Facebook ad, it would say the source would be Facebook, the medium would be cost per click, the campaign may be our uh, VSL or our Trojan horse ad, the term, likely that's gonna be the, the audience that somebody's in, and then the content may be the individual ad that we're using. And so we can see when somebody it gets added to our list, what was it that brought them here and got them onto our list? So that is how to track UTM variables inside of Active Campaign. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to set up those UTM variables. But for now, that's it. Hopefully this is helpful. We'll talk to you later.